Good morning, good people, and welcome to the fifth video of our series on the last seven words of Christ. Mother Teresa says that the deepest suffering and the most painful suffering that we have nowadays, and I think for all of eternity, is, is loneliness. When Christ was on the cross, when he was hanging up there, I think what really hurt him the most was not the fact that he was thirsty, not the fact that he was hungry or lacking a few hours of sleep, but it was the fact that all his disciples, the apostles, his loved ones, those who were closest to him, had abandoned him, then run away. St. John and the Blessed Virgin Mary were the only ones that could stay, but most of Christ's loved ones and friends, they had all gone. Where were they? Not to be found anywhere near him. He was on the cross, and he uttered the words, I thirst. These were the next set of words that Christ said on the cross for us to hear, I thirst. Back to Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa, for the longest time, experienced profound desolation. If you look in her writings, she was somebody that constantly struggled with loneliness. And I think this is the part in Christ's life that she shares with her. This intimate moment of this is what he experienced. This is something that is deep within his heart and soul that wanted hate, motivated Christ to love and to love even more. So to give out his love to those who he wanted to share this love with. And this is the sort of love that Mother Teresa experienced and that gave her the strength, actually, to go out to the loneliest persons in the streets of Calcutta, to reach out to them, to love them, because in her experiencing the dryness and the thirst of Christ, the loneliness of Christ on the cross, it gave her the motivation it gave her the grace in order to reach out to the loneliest in the world. What does that mean for you and I? When you and I are beginning to experience dryness, loneliness, we look to the cross of Jesus, who also experienced this thirst and this love. We ask him, Lord, give me the water, this everlasting water to quench this love that is longing for you. So that this love that I receive from you, this forgiving love, the theme of forgiveness does not end here, not end with the last sentence, but it continues because love is something that forgives. It gives of itself totally and entirely unselfishly and without reservation. And this is the only way in which this thirst can be quenched is when we let love continue to flow and continue to nourish us and continue to moisturize us, but also in loving uh, uh, and loving and letting the love of God uh, fill our hearts, it also reaches out to the other. So, brothers and sisters, as we meditate with the words, I thirst, let us fill our hearts with the same long prayer of Christ. And let us also use that to motivate us to love our neighbor just as much as Christ loves us. This is the sort of love that continues to unify. This is the sort of love that continues to heal. This is the same forgiving love of Jesus on the cross that creates unity, that creates hope. The same working of Christ on the cross that brings about the resurrection is motivated by this longing to be loved and to love totally and entirely without reservation, particularly with those who are closest to us. God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.